People often say that, but uh, but it's uh, it's always most enjoyable when uh, the fortunate mission that I have uh, gets to actually see the people that we're most designed to protect and uh, to, and to benefit. Uh, the, the people who are in uh, another way of characterizing uh, some of the things that uh, Dr. Mugman's describing, but to me, the heretics, the uh, transgressors. You transgress norms, you transgress in an effective way, and norms shift. Uh, what my role is, is to make sure that that transgression is something that's protected and enabled, uh, and that large companies that have technology and want to control markets are not able to do so, not through their patents anyway. And so, uh, Ten years ago, IBM, Red Hat, Novell, Sony, NEC, and Philips got together and recognized that we were in the middle of a phase shift, the likes of which we'd never seen before. We were shifting from the world of siloed invention where we were dabbling in open source to a world where we were have, having to be all in if we wanted to really trigger the kind of change that this could, could create. The kind of world where one plus one plus one doesn't equal three, but it equals six or 10 or 20, where we're able to innovate in ways that we couldn't even comprehend previously. And so if we want to build on each other and stand on each other's shoulders to create new value and to alter the global economy for innovation, uh, we needed protection. And we needed protection from companies that had patents that didn't want to see what the world change, that wanted to see the same atrophy that we've been living with and the same marginalization of, uh, of the human spirit and of human potential. Fortunately, we're now in a position where we, we've escaped from that marginalization, where you're free to create no matter where you are in the world, and you're free to work with people wherever they are in the world. And we don't have to do it in Silicon Valley. We don't have to do it in Route 128 in Boston. We don't have to do it in RTP. We don't have to do it in Sofia Antipolis. We don't have to do it in Tokyo, Japan. We can do it wherever we are. Uh, and this phenomenon is something that I have a great deal of pride in, in supporting and enabling in some small way. Quietly, OIN in the last 10 years has emerged to become the largest patent on aggression community in the history of technology. Uh, we have, as Venki said, we have 1,700, close to 1,700 participants in our community now. We're adding close to two a day. We had 200 licensees uh, last quarter, 150 the quarter before, 140 the quarter before that. Uh, we are, what we are seeing is that there's a cultural transformation afoot where companies are recognizing that where we collaborate, we shouldn't be using patents to be able to slow or stall our progress. Uh, where we compete, if we choose to use patents, if we choose to just invent uh, utilizing defensive publications to prevent others from, from patenting our ideas, uh, so be it. That's your choice. But what we're doing is, is dis defining the zone of patent collaboration and of technological collaboration that exists through major projects and minor projects around the world. Uh, whether it be uh, Linux, whether it be uh, the massive success that uh, that the open source community is seeing with uh, with OpenStack, defining the many of the uh, the, uh, the 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 scope and frame of the uh, of the cloud of the future, whether it be in a, a very significant project that often gets overlooked, uh, that Professor Moglin in terms in terms of Apache, the incredible creativity of Apache is being leveraged in so many other projects and is supporting companies. Uh, Hortonworks is really the second pure play public company that's traded in North America behind uh, Red Hat. And seeing it go public, I think, gives us a great deal of encouragement for others to go public so that we have more and more true open source companies that, that, that the market can invest in and that we can look to as leaders in the world. And so OIN is an open community designed to enable freedom of action and freedom to operate so that you can make choices, so that your customers can make choices, so that the people who collaborate with you can make choices. And so we, we are making a major effort uh, since January of this year to spend much more time uh, in India. Uh, in China to be able to ensure that there's inclusivity, that the technological might, the, the expertise, the experiences represented here can be part of a global community uh, and that global projects can start here uh, and, uh, and they are not the province purely of, uh, of again, Silicon Valley or, uh, or some, some other country in the world. So we can leverage the, the strengths and experience in this community to be able to drive innovation from here. Uh, because there's no, 
there's no head nor tail to the open source community. Uh, it's not about IBM investing a billion dollars a year since 99 and having some uh, birthright to, uh, to drive the open source initiatives around the world or for, for Google or for Red Hat or anyone else. You have the ability to drive from here and to be able to impact major changes and we want to be able to support you and enable freedom of action as participants of our community and, and as people who pledge to non-aggression in the areas where we are interdependent and where we rely on each other to be able to grow amazing technologies. So thank you, it's a pleasure to be here with you. And I think I'll turn it over to, uh, thank you.